Hey guys, how's it going? Well, in today's video, here's a rare update that I normally never do that much of, and that is video games. Uh, you know, it's too bad. I wish, well, I do have a lot of updates, but the problem is, in the past, was uh, I did a lot of updates uh, a few years back on my old YouTube channel, and I would love to upload all of those videos back on YouTube. The issue is, I saved all, the, all those videos onto a hard drive, that died. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I, I'm so mad that this one hard drive, it was a one terabyte hard drive, I lost so much material and videos, projects, all sorts of stuff that I did pretty much through the year 2011 all the way through up to 2013. And so basically, three years basically almost of material worth I lost. Video game playthroughs, DVD and Blu-ray updates, uh, Laserdisc updates, if I, although I think I'm safe to say I think I have most of those on a DVD-ROM somewhere uh, in my archives. Uh, that's the other sad part was, I didn't lose everything, thankfully. Uh, over the years, in fact, I, I actually should go through my archives and take a look at stuff because one of my, uh, uh, not to get too off topic from this video, but uh, I, I actually should go back and look through my archives because it was a once a year it was uh, I would always um, uh, go through all my hard drives and stuff and stuff that I wanted to permanently save I would put over either to CDs or DVDs most of the time DVDs because you know it's video and stuff you really can't put much video on CDs I would do photos and stuff on CDs and uh, I would do that at the end of each year so maybe I should go back and take a look see if I can find some old stuff because uh, there is a lot of old video that I like to put back on YouTube so We'll see. Alrighty guys, so enough about the past, which I will get into some other videos at some point talking about, I'm sure. But let's talk about uh, right now. So recently I went to GameStop uh, for a few reasons. Um, was uh, what, There was two main reasons I wanted to go. Well, actually, no, there were three main reasons I wanted to go. The first main reason was I wanted to reserve some copies of some games that I wanted to get uh, later this year. And those games in particular were Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, I also wanted to get the new Star Wars Battlefront saved, get that all nice away. And I also wanted to get the new Halo game. So I think that kind of somewhat gives away what systems I'm getting. Obviously the Halo talks about Xbox One. But am I also planning on getting a PS4? I will let you guys decide that from now until November because I'm not planning on getting either one of those systems until November. So, but, uh, will I get both or will I get one? I'll let you guys think of that over. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, I reserved those games and I have the receipt safely put away so I don't have to worry about losing it. And uh, I got some cool little stuff uh, with it as well, so, which I will get into later on uh, when I get those games. So, yeah. But also, another main reason why I was there, I was looking for, uh, right now I'm doing a marathon of the God of War games. I, um, about last year or so, I actually did, yeah, it was like, I think it was last summer, actually, it was a while ago. Uh, I picked up all of the God of War uh, HD remastered, um, you know, collections and stuff. Um, the only one I'm missing is God of War Ex Extension, I think is what it's called. I think it's the fourth God of War game. Uh, well, actually, it's not the fourth God of War game. They're still uh, planning that one. I, I heard it's, they might put it on the new uh, new PS4, so I think that'd be kind of cool. But um, uh, but I was missing that game. Uh, I have all the other ones. I have the PSP games on uh, PS3. Uh, I had the first two in God of War 3 as well. So all I was missing was the, the uh, extension. So uh, I went there. They didn't have any in stock. So I was like, okay, whatever. And the other main reason I was there was my cousin actually, she texted me uh, the day before saying, oh, you know, GameStop's got this, buy uh, four games for ten bucks. It was like a certain list of games that you could get. Um, and if, uh, that list, you know, if you pick four of them, you get for like ten bucks. So I thought, oh, wow, that's a really good deal. Until I went to GameStop and found out, she, the one thing she lacked to tell me was, those games, one thing was... Uh, you don't get them with the art book or the uh, original case or anything. It's just a disc and a paper sleeve. And I'm just like, eh, I don't really like collecting that way if I don't have to. 
I mean, yeah, pretty. you can get really good games for, like, cheap. But then I was looking at the game selection, and I was like, you know what? I either have the stuff that I already want out of this collection complete already in the collection, and the, all the other games just didn't interest me. So I was like, okay. So since I was there, I, ha I actually did bring extra money with me because I was like, you know, I knew I wanted to reserve some games, and then on top of that, I wanted to buy some games. So while I was there, I looked around, looked at the Xbox section, and I have a lot of Xbox games, so I kind of held off from there. So I went to the PlayStation 3 section, and I found two particular games I wanted to pick up. Uh, the first one being one that many of my friends have told me I need to pick up from my collection. I told them, you know, I have Oblivion, but I did not have this game yet. They all told me I gotta pick it up. And of course I wanted to pick up the Legendary Edition, which I believe comes with, um, yeah, I think it's the, it's the limited edition that you want to get, because it has everything. And that is uh, The Elder Scrolls V, a.k.a. Skyrim. So, yeah. Um, uh, I've been wanting to check out Skyrim. Everybody's been telling me nothing but good things. So, uh, like I said, I picked up the Legendary Edition. Uh, so, it says it includes uh, Dawn Guard, uh, Heartfire, and Dragonborn as well. Hmm, cool. So I'm not sure, uh, I'm guessing maybe those were DLCs at some point, maybe? I don't know. But uh, either way, uh, still, um, huh, this was actually on trade hold, but uh, huh, it expired uh, two days ago. Interesting. So yeah, what's today? Say the, uh, that was the 18th. So today it actually expired three days ago. So apparently someone had this on trade hold. And uh, they let me purchase it anyway, so that's interesting. So yeah, I picked up Skyrim. <laughs> I like how they had these trade holds, like they can hold it for people for a certain date. And uh, oh, my bad. This was uh, this one bad. Four thirty fifteen. Never mind. I'm reading the wrong date. Well, it says ex uh, expires on this date too. So I'm wondering if some. I don't know. Interesting. I never. I hate GameStop stickers to begin with, but sometimes I don't understand their barcode labeling. Anyway, um, so I got for seventeen oh nine because I'm a pro member, so I saved a buck. So awesome, a little more than a dollar actually, but uh, still awesome. And I do believe I bought it complete. So let's, uh, let's take a look. I believe I did. Yes. So it comes with the original manual and the uh, uh, disc. And it does have some awesome artwork. Well, actually, maybe not that awesome, but it does have some artwork in the back. Not too bad. So one of these days, as soon as I know if they got a War series, I'll probably check out this game because, like I said, uh, this came out I think what almost four years ago, something like that. So I'm definitely uh, falling behind. So um, but I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. And the other game I picked up, well originally I wanted to pick it up for this really cool collector's uh, box edition. And that was uh, Killer is Dead. And this came in this really cool box. Sadly though, when I put it up to the counter, uh, the guy who was cashing me out said, uh, sadly they already sold contents inside the box. Which makes no sense to me. I was thinking, okay, this, so uh, my guess is what actually did happen was I bet you the guy brought it in with the box, but he kept the content that was inside of it. So basically you get this really cool, what was left inside the box was this, was this slip cover thing that the, that the game would hold inside, like that. So, um, <clears throat> so that was still in the box. And the box itself is actually in very good shape. So it basically would sit inside the box like this. And what also originally was inside this box it originally came with a hardcover art book and a CD soundtrack to the game. So um, the guy was going to give me this edition. This is just the normal standalone edition. And I asked him what he could do with the box. He said, "Oh, I'm just going to throw it out." So I told him, "No, no, no! Don't throw it out. I'll keep it." So because it's still, you know, it's nice. You know, it looks pretty good on the shelf and everything. So it's really nice, good condition box. And when I got out of GameStop, I. I uh, got on my phone and looked up uh, the contents that was missing on Amazon. 
And believe it or not, I can find the soundtrack and the art book for really, really cheap. So my plan is I'm just going to order both of those eventually and just complete the box set. So, I mean, why not? I mean, they're so cheap. I mean, I'm literally going to pay the exact same price I paid for this game, which was $8.99. So basically $9. I'm going to spend 9 or 10 bucks, get both the CD soundtrack and art book because they're really cheap. Um, and I'll have the complete game. Now, I actually looked online, you can buy the complete game for like brand new for like 25, 30 bucks. So, in total I'll probably spend like 20 dollars to get it complete again. And, but, you know, it's still, so what, uh, I'll be happy once I have the complete. So, it's, it, and like I said, the box is in very good shape, so it's pretty much mint anyway. Um, and the, uh, the game he gave me is also complete, which is nice. So it does come with the, uh, the manual and the disc. So, awesome. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. So, Killer is Dead. Looks like a very interesting, almost like a samurai sci-fi type of game. So, uh, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. So, really, that was all that really... I mean, there were other games that treat my interest, but they're either a little more expensive than what I want to pay right now. Um, when it comes to games, I can be... The reason why I don't buy that many anymore is because I like movies where the, I mean, I know it's kind of weird, uh, with movies I don't mind buying a lot and then sitting, sitting on the shelf, but games take up a lot more time to do than, than movies, I don't know, it's, I should really th rethink this, I mean I should be thinking, you know, I buy the games, I have it on the shelf, it's there, so then I can get around to actually playing them eventually. I don't know, I guess I feel like sometimes, uh, I sometimes compete with different collections of mine, and movies have always been more of a collecting thing for me, although the last couple of years I finally started getting really heavy into collecting video games too. Although the sad part is my movie collection is bigger, so I mean my video game collection is like one third of my whole, in fact I can fit all my video games right here, I can fit them all like, even, uh, even if you take away this half of the shelf that you're seeing right there, it's kind of in the video. Take that all the way, pretty much, uh, I can fill this entire shelf of video games, my entire DVD bookcase, um, and that's about it, that's all I have, I don't have a lot, I mean, I have, <coughs> the, I, I have, um, eventually, I have to do, I, in fact, I'm going to do it soon, because I'm actually going to put more of my video games in storage, which is basically what I'm getting to, is, a lot of my video games are in storage right now, I had them all, uh, put in, um, Tupperware containers and, uh, you know, big bins, and then I just store them away. And I, in fact, I'm planning on uh, pouring more of my games away. Um, <clears throat> I do have some video games you can't see behind me, because uh, I'm actually blocking it. But you got E.T., and then I have a rack here, a tower of uh, some PS2 games, some Xbox games, and some PS3 games. So, uh, stuff that I want to play right away I have on that, uh, on that shelf. Um, <clears throat> these two are included on that shelf, too, by the way. Um, but I do have some other games that I st I have my original Xbox collection up here. I have some PC games, I have some PS1 games, um, and some Wii and all my Wii games are up here too, which I'll plan to put in storage just to you know get some space. So eventually, sometime probably in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna buy some storage bins and put them away. Uh, but before I do that, I want to do a collection review of that. So look forward to those videos eventually. But uh, I think I don't know. I feel like I always eventually when I have. I mean, eventually when I move out, I'm planning on getting uh, a whole separate room just for my collections. So I have my movies on one part of the room, and the other half to do my video game collection. So eventually, I'll be a lot more happier once I have all my collections out of storage and actually properly put on shelves to display. And then I also I can see, you know, what I have and stuff. Of course, now I can't really show you because I'm recording with my phone, but I'm actually recording all of my uh, media. Um, <clears throat> Uh, on this app, it's called the Sorted App, and in fact, I need, I actually added the, I know I did add these two, I don't want to think about it, I did add them, As you can scan, uh, although it's kind of annoying with GameStop, I actually have to uh, pull the, uh, the slip part out so I can uh, scan the barcode, because they always put those their own stupid barcodes over the original barcode, but all you do is have to scan the, the game and you can add to the app so you know which games you have, and same thing with movies and soundtracks, I have all this stuff, so now I know what I have. Which is nice, so when you're on the go, you know, you can, um, let's say, you can't remember if I had this particular... Movies I don't really have a problem with. It's video games, I always forget, do I have this game, do I have this game? Because I really don't know, because at the time all my games are in storage. I just don't have 
Plus, you know, video games, there's so much of a variety, it's hard to, especially when you already have a big hobby of movies, it's really hard to try to remember everything. So that's why I did the Sorted app. It's nice. Um, so another thing is I have to get all these, get, another thing I, what I'm getting to is I also have to finish scanning all my video, I don't think I have any of my original Xbox games, or my Wii games, or my PC games scanned into that app yet, so I, I gotta do that before I, um, oh, my PSP games too, I forgot, I have those as well up here, so I have to get all those scanned in too, so I'll get all those scanned in first, and then I'll, um, uh, put them away in storage, and plus I also want to do videos of it too, so like I said, you can fo look forward to those in the near future, uh, probably within some time next month I'll be doing this, because I just want to get some space, and I'm also planning on not... Uh, for collection wise, but I also have to do some more spring slash summer cleaning in here. It's getting a mess. Plus, I'm also planning on putting more of my movies, especially over here in the storage, too. Because it's starting to become a little more overwhelming, too. Alrighty, guys, so that's it for this uh, game update, even though it's kind of, you know, drifted other conversations and subjects, but it's all relevant at some point here and there. But, uh, like I said, uh, picked up these two games. Awesome. Sadly, like I said, was, I couldn't find the one God of War game I'm still missing. Um, the game sale was a bust for me. But at least I was able to reserve games for certain systems, uh, or system. Uh, so, uh, I'll let you guys just debate from now until November if I'm just getting an Xbox One, or if I'm getting the Xbox One or the PS4. So, let's see. I'll let you guys decide that. So, But uh, I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say, so I'm going to wait till November to show you guys what I'm going to get, so, like I said, I mean, for now, I'm, just, I'm not even going to bother buying a, uh, either system right now, uh, or one particular system, because, um, I mean, there's games out there I want to get for the system, or systems right now, but the games I really, really, really want to get, I haven't even come out yet, so, those ones in particular are the main reasons why I want to get either the system or the systems, so. Alrighty guys, well, thank you for watching, and until the next video game update, um, thanks for watching, see ya.